Asparagus densiflorus, a very versatile plant. Let me show you how to propagate it from seeds. Asparagus fern, a very versatile plant in the home and garden. It can be planted outside as a border hedge in full sun, but it can survive very well in um, a bright location on the patio. This specimen here, this plant is, I would think about two years old. And the feature of asparagus is that it's a very vigorous grower. It needs repotting probably every two years. It grows very fast, makes very big roots. This one got too heavy to be hung. So we decided to elevate it to a platform and we did that about four months ago. Since then, it's easier to water now. And since then, it's been growing even faster. And that's, a, that's part of what's spectacular and really lovely about asparagus. It's hardy, it's drought tolerant. There's very little you can do to kill it. If it is stressed, it may drop its leaves, but it recovers very quickly. And today, what we're going to show you is how to propagate your asparagus fern. Once the plant is mature, it produces these lovely seeds, these red berries, and if you don't need them for propagating, they also enhance the appearance of asparagus. I'm going to pick as many of these seeds as I can, show you the easy way to prepare the seeds for planting. So today's episode is about propagating your asparagus fern. And just a note, it is not a fern. It's a lily family. It's given that name because of its soft um, foliage, which resembles ferns from afar. You can also propagate asparagus from divisions, and that gives you a bigger plant. But starting them from um, earlier stage gives you a nice fuller plant. So that's what we're going to do today. We've picked a, well, two small handfuls of the asparagus berries, and I'm going to be Plant, extracting the seed from the berry and planting them in pots. There is a quick way of doing that and this is what I'm going to demonstrate. You take a strainer, a wire strainer, and just rub them. The skin and the pulp comes off very easily. Very easily. You dunk them in water. This is called a flotation method of extracting seeds. The pulp and the skin will flow to the top. The seeds will sink. So you come along and just strain off the pulp and the skins, leaving the seeds. Okay. Could be fun. This is what your kids can help you with. <laughs> Get them involved in gardening and horticulture from an early age and Drain the pulp should come out. Oops, I should be facing the camera. It shouldn't be for me to see. So most of it, sometimes you have to try it. You have to do the process more than once, but for our purpose today, we have quite a few seeds. I'm sure we have over 100 seeds in this container. Let us just... Good. Seeds ready for planting. And they're quite nice. They are good size to handle. For ease of handling, I'm just going to put them on a absorbent paper and we proceed to plant. I'm going to be putting about 30 or so seeds in each pot because the more seedlings you have coming up, this quicker your pot would be ready for hanging or for display. So the depth, if you, the standard rule is you can plant at twice the diameter of the seed. This, if you can estimate, so we're looking at a quarter inch or so deep. And I'm putting the same amount of seeds in the second pot, just sprinkling them on top. Actually, I have more seeds than 
I should put in the pot because they're quite dense as it is now. So I'll save a few for another pot. And here they are, and they're pretty. Uh, glistening black marbles on the top. So I'm going to just take uh, some of the same potting soil and layer it in top, covering them about a quarter inch deep. So no more, you don't see any of the seeds exposed. And then you give it, because this uh, mix was pre-dampened. I find it better to do that. You don't have any dry pockets in between. And just lightly settle it in a nice fine spray so you don't disturb the seeds too much. There you go. Quick and easy standard planting of seeds in a pot. Germination is a bit slow, I find from experience that it takes about three weeks. Okay, so let's say we fast forwarded the time about four months. And as I was saying, it's a very vigorous router. These, yeah, these are the water storage nodules. That is why asparagus is so drought tolerant and that's why you should not keep it standing in water you should allow your asparagus to dry out two to three days between watering because it has more than enough uh, storage capacity it wasn't fully root bound it had produced a, quite a bit of roots but it had not yet gotten to the stage of producing old suberized wrapped around leaves uh, roots it can get that way in a <laughs> if it stays much longer in the pot because it grows so fast and I really don't wish to have to repot it, I'm just gonna put one of these plants in this basket, in this, and already you see the effect. It looks like it, yeah, one is enough for sure. No need, if you put two, you'll have to repot in less than a year. This is a, this is a hanging basket, but it can easily, just as easily be a desk to plant for a while in a bright location or on your patio, as I said. If it's a, I am setting this up as a hanging plant, so you have to be conscious of the weight of the basket. And what I did to reduce the weight, instead of my usual uh, gravel in the bottom for drainage, I had put some perlite. So that would reduce the weight of your hanging basket and still give you the drainage that you want. So it's ready to go. As far as I can see, I'll do the other one because it's always better to do plants in pairs, especially if you're going to be hanging them. Uh, what a difference a pot makes. The larger the pot, the larger the plant. It's a good appear, although they started out just a moment ago being exactly the same size. I have it in several locations, out in full sunlight or in a bright location here in the courtyard. It can remain in excellent condition for about two years, but be warned, you have to be prepared to repot, and repotting is not always easy. And that's part two of this video, which that big plant up there, I think I'm going to have to repot in a few weeks time, and I'll bring that to you. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, tell your friends about it, and check us again next week for another interesting video here in the Calyx Growing Things Gardens. More information on propagating plants is available in our book called Plant Propagation. Available on Amazon, just follow the link given in the description.